Well, I, I think you should look at schools as an investment into the future. So we're getting into now some of those questions about how do you solve things like that? You know, when you're sitting in this seat, what do you do? Well, we're trying to get at the funding mechanism, how it impacts schools. And superintendents are the ones who have the control over the budget. They're responsible for the school's budget and financial well-being. In real per pupil, state aid has gone down 13% oh, uh, since 2003. And what this forces superintendents to do is they've been trying to make cuts around the classroom to not get at educational quality, but every year there's less and less to cut. Well, I think you eventually have to go to your public and say, look, the state is not funding schools adequately. I, the funding has gone down 13% in the last 10 years. Either we're going to have to make dramatic reductions in our program, or you're going to have, you'd have to be willing to step up and give us more tax. Local levies. Well, some of the, the major findings of the survey were that we asked superintendents if they thought that the current state funding model was beneficial towards schools. And 90% of them said that it wasn't. They answered no. We also asked them uh, if they thought that uh, without major changes to this funding model, if educational quality is going to stay the same, get worse, or get better. And 80% of them said that it's, it's probably going to get worse without major changes to the way we fund education. The question is, what will the public schools look like? Minnesota has had great pride in having one of the very best public school systems in the nation. And the test scores prove it. If, if, if the state decides to go a different direction, the public school will be sustained, but the quality will go down. Running levy elections is a big burden on districts, school boards, and superintendents because it, it shifts the focus away from providing a good educational system to raising the revenue just to keep that educational system running. So it's short-term thinking to say, well, we'll just keep pulling it out of the schools um, because the schools will go down, the quality will go down, the workers' skills will go down, the economy will go down. When the economy goes down, the retired people suffer. I mean, so, it's, so it's that's what's going to happen. Yeah. We, we can predict it very easily, or we can do something about it. Well, we need to do two things, essentially. We need to increase the per-pupil state amount that's going to schools, um, and we also need to stop shifting funding payments away from schools. And in order to do that, the state has to balance its budget um, through a combination of cuts to non-educational programs and uh, smart progressive uh, revenue increases.